Haiti, one of the islands in the Caribbean, is perhaps going through its worst conflict. It is undergoing severe humanitarian crisis and lives of its citizens have been torn apart. So much so that few days back, the head of the United Nations had exhorted armed action in the island. Today, we decode the crisis this Caribbean island is going through. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. So, what exactly is plaguing Haiti? Breakdown of democratic institutions, power vacuum due to internecine power struggle in the country, recent cholera outbreak. These are a few of the factors, but the most crucial one that has led to the current crisis is fuel. Gasoline, petrol and diesel and of course, Haiti's infamous criminal gangs. Haiti has been thrown into a vortex of uncontrolled gang violence for quite some time now. And all these have led to where Haiti is right now. Although Haiti has tapped some of its hydroelectric potential, its abundant solar and wind power potential remains mostly unexploited. Haiti generates about 80% of its electricity from fossil fuels obtained from two oil terminals in Port-au-Prince, its capital. Only about 12% of the rural households have electricity at home. So, Haiti relies extensively on fossil fuel imports to keep its economy that was already in shambles running. The trigger for the current crisis is the blockade of Varro Terminal, a key fuel terminal by armed gangs that began last month. The blockade is being led by a coalition of gangs called G9, which controls areas in and around the capital city. And the leader of G9 is Jimmy Barbecue Sherozay. He and other gang leaders are considered the de facto authority in the areas adjacent to the capital. The G9 on September 12th dug trenches outside the main entrance of the Vero fuel terminal to protest an announcement by the government by cutting fuel subsidies. That blockade led to shortages of gasoline, diesel and halted most transport in creating shortages of basic goods including clean water. Hospitals have either shut the doors or curtailed their operations because they cannot power diesel generators which are necessary to maintain stable electricity there. The United Nations says Haiti is witnessing catastrophic hunger with more than 4 million Haitians facing acute food insecurity. Civil unrest is on the rise and anti-government protests have at times devolved into looting. Haitians report increased incidents of gun battles in residential areas that are being waged between rival gangs or with the police. The gangs are using sexual violence including against children and the elderly in order to instill fear in the local population. Haitians were already protesting and people were taking to the streets against their government. But this time, an international aspect has also been added in the equation. But how? Almost two weeks back, Haiti's Prime Minister had asked for international assistance to deal with the gang violence. He had requested the international community to help set up a specialised armed force to quell the violence, which has worsened in the power vacuum after the assassination of President Jovenel Moise last year. This request and subsequent affirmations by USA, Canada and a few other nations signalling they will send in help as left Haitians fuming. Many Haitian protesters and civil society leaders have rejected the prospect of international intervention, saying history has demonstrated that foreign forces bring more problems than solutions. They say delivering guns to underprivileged people would create more chaos. Apart from earlier protests, the possible involvement of foreign military powers has led to widespread protests. The crisis in Haiti does not seem to abate and the spiral of gang rivalry and higher costs of living have aggravated the situation in the country. Also, the latest outbreak of cholera in Haiti has made lives worse for its citizens and they are finding it difficult to even survive. We hope you find this new information significant. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.